Welcome back to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. Thank you so much for joining us. We are observing the five and a half week old Cornish Rock cross meat chickens. And if you ever wondered if chickens have a preference for what they eat, I'm going to show you today that they do. On this video, we're going to see their reaction to different feedstuffs. And the reason we can do this is actually because it's just part of our grow out process. We raise these birds in a six week production cycle. We say flock to fork in eight weeks. Hey, it's Melissa. Welcome back to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. So glad that you're here. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us. We're trying to grow our channel to a thousand subscribers and we need all the help that we can get. So if you'll put a like, put a comment, any observation or experience you've had or any question, we appreciate that too. But we are in this meat bird production pen with a flock that is about at the end of production. So we get them as, as day old hatchlings or just right after they're hatched from a hatchery around Cincinnati, work with our local feed store in Beverly, Ohio, Beverly Feed and Equipment to do that. And we get them here, so basically day one of their lives. We raise them for six weeks. These birds are not genetically modified. It's a specialized breeding process that basically creates a hybrid bird that grows fast and converts feed quickly and efficiently to meat. So we're able to have them ready to process at six weeks of age and we um, then take them to a USDA inspected processor and we plan on anywhere from seven to 10 days to get them back from the processor. So that's why we say flock to fork in eight weeks. And so we specialize in hatch to harvest top quality poultry production with the goals of providing excellent quality of life for our livestock during production and promoting agriculture to people. We would love to see people inspired to be connected to local farmers in their area. So connecting local folks to local farmers is something we wanna do. Um, our motto is, you know, to grow from what inspires you, but stay rooted in what sustains you. So we want that to inspire people to connect to local farmers and great food sources. So we're going back to the birds, just like we have food preferences, uh, and we need to eat what's good for us, but we also have food preferences for what's palatable to us and what we prefer to eat. Our chickens are the same way, and so I want to show you something that we observe in each flock. Uh, we have in here, let me show you first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven separate feeders. All these other feeders, no, no birds, a couple birds, more birds. I'll show you why at that one too. No birds there. No birds there. Why this one? These birds are clamoring around this feeder. So they're not going to want to let me in, but I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of shove in. I'm going to show you why. So first, let me show you in this feeder. I'm going to bring a handful of it out. Regular cracked corn, you know, very, very little processing, minimal processing, cracked corn, corn that has been cracked. <laughs> into smaller particles that's what's in that feeder she's like yeah all that's there is corn over here yes there's some cracked corn y'all can see that here here birdies let me in they don't want they don't want out okay so we do have cracked corn in here but you can see a lot finer consistency too we feed a complete feed that's not pelleted it's smaller than a pellet it's extruded into um extruding and kind of broken up into a crumble what they call a crumble so it's actually not quite that fine when we put it in the feeder but there was still crumble in this feeder watch out guys if they do get your hand with their beak it hurts a little um there was still crumble in this feeder so these birds are trying to clean up all the crumble they can get. It's clearly more palatable and more desirable to them than the cracked corn. So it's, uh, I can zoom in, these are bags that are ready to go out. So Kalmbach feed is made in Ohio. Poultry feed, 19% crumbles come out of that bag. That's what has been in the feeders. Um, we, we start them on a 22% crumble. We feed that exclusively to three weeks, three to the fourth week. 
we switch them from the 22% to a 19% crumble. That's what was in the feeder, the finer. And then by the start of their fifth week, we do away with the crumble and we put them on the cracked corn to finish them exclusively on cracked corn. That's all we want in them when we finish these birds and have them go into the processor. And then of course there's a, a clean out procedure that you have to let happen. Uh, at the end of their production where we initiate the feed withdrawal before we take them to the processor. But all we want to be feeding them at the end is cracked corn. And so they definitely like the Kalmbach complete feed better. In fact, I have one bird over here. Look, she jumped the short wall because I was earlier putting feed into these little birds, the younger birds, they're still on the 22% crumble. These birds over here can sense that. Sometimes they go over the short wall into that pen, but I had been, been putting feed into feeders over here where this bird has jumped out, and so I'll help her get back in if she doesn't jump in on her own. But at some point along that short wall that you see, we may have to take our yellow transport crates and stand them upright along that wall so there'll be a taller divider there so they won't be jumping in because as they do finish up that crumble there's a little bit left in that feeder there's a little bit left in that feeder and that's why they're there they want to finish up that crumble as theirs is all gone and all they're getting is cracked corn they know that there's still crumble going into that other pen and they might try to get over there so we'll have to put an end to that but anyway they do have a preference we do finish them on cracked corn if you raise birds tell us in the comments what your feed regimen is we'd love to hear other experiences and other ideas so please do subscribe and please join us again at twin oaks farm poultry thank you so much